Hey guys, what's up? So today we're going to talk about the most dominating thing in this world right now. That is COVID vaccine marathon, a viral race. Okay, we know every country is suffering from this pandemic and uh, we are struggling to get a vaccine through. Um, today we're going to talk about the top contenders, that is 80 vaccines topped my list and then 8 countries competing each other. And then this is a report as of July 1st, 2020. This is Chris Green from All India Tackies. Let's get right in. Okay, so we go on to look at three types of data. One is the company name and then the country of origin, which is very important uh, these days and the latest news or the latest talk about that. Again, as of first week of July 2020. Okay, Bharat Biotech from India. And they've already named the vaccine as Covaxin. These are in human trials in July. And there is some big news expected in August, precisely to be August 15. There is some big plan for this thing. And this is partnered with ICMR uh, by the government of India. And uh, the second type contender is Zoidus, again from India. And they've also named the vaccines that is Zykov D, again in human trials, similarly expecting something big in August. Again, this. This whole table is not in any particular order, it's just data. And the next one is Moderna. Like everybody knows, it's a top conductor from US. The whole world knows about Moderna. Um, they are in phase three trials. That is about 30,000 patient trial has been planned for July. It was supposed to begin by now, but has been pushed for some reason and is expected to begin soon in this month. And then Novavax, again, the big pharma giant from USA. They are slightly behind in the phase one trial and then they have planned trials um, partnering with multiple countries. And then Inovia, again a big name from USA, phase one results have been announced and things look good for them and phase two and three are set to begin soon in July. Um, they've kind of scientifically named uh, their vaccine as INO4800, the commercial name is expected to come out, maybe different or we don't know. Uh, the next guy yeah, in the in the list is J and Z. That is Johnson and Johnson, a common name. Again from USA, they are out for the big trial. Big trial that's thirty thousand patients or similar size trial planned for August, the next month. Marks again from USA. They are to start human trials. They're done with their animal or clinical trials. Uh, but again. This is the name that is out in the news pretty frequently recent in recent times, but they are slightly behind in the race. And again, the next few chains are Pfizer from USA, BioNTech from Germany, and Forsen Pharma from China. They're doing a collab here, and then they are again to the third phase, that is 30,000 patient trial plan for July. And they have technically named it as BNT162B1. And then, the other thing that we all heard about is Oxford University partnering with AstraZeneca from the United Kingdom. They are on to the 30,000 patient or similar sized trial, which is planned for August. So pretty much in the last phases. And then moving on, the next uh, nine competitors are Imperial College London from UK, again they are in phase 1 trials and they are in June. GSK, or Sanofi, it's a partnership between GSK from UK and Sanofi, big pharma from uh, France. Clinical trial planned in September, slightly behind in the race. Migvax from Israel, Israel has many vaccines being developed as well, but not much of news is out. And this Migvax is an animal trial, slightly behind in the game. So, uh, Angus from Japan. Japan has recently joined this league and started the human trials. And the next one is Murdoch Children's Research Institute from Australia. So what they're doing is they're repurposing the BCG tuberculosis vaccine and maybe tuning up for COVID and they're in phase three trials, pretty much ahead of the game. And CanSino Biologics from China. Uh, they've named it as 85 in call the technical name it has been approved for chinese military use for an experimental purpose and then you have the big guys sinopharm from china uh, they have plans to large-scale human trials in uae and then sinovac 
and human trials in Brazil. And then you have the Global Biopharmaceuticals from China, which is in the phase one trial partnered with Dynavax from USA. That's it guys, thank you for watching and if you like the content please hit the thumbs up button and let me know your views, share and subscribe please. Thank you, this is Kurt Green signing out from All India Techies, have a good day.